On a summer's day, a young herdsman from Gressene called Johannes decided to take his cows from Chalvrina to the pastures in Ranzola, following the road that passes through Gune. When he got to Gune, Johannes stopped and sat on a rock to have some bread and cheese. Suddenly, from a crack in the rock, a little mouse appeared and took a small piece of cheese. Thank you, young man, said the mouse. Johannes stared at him astounded. The animal went on. Don't be afraid of me, my name's Alfred. Before becoming a mouse, I used to be a young man, just like you. He climbed onto Johannes' knee and started telling him his story. One day I came across my friend Peter, the wizard of the village of Gressenay saint jean and for fun... I knocked off his hat. Unfortunately for me, Peter was in a bad mood. He didn't like my joke, and in a fit of rage, he turned me into a little mouse. This spell was supposed to last only one month, but... On his way home, the wizard was caught up in a storm, and he was struck by lightning. Since he was very old, he fell ill and he died a few days later. And here I am, a mouse forever. However, I'm very happy. I live with my family in a crack in the rock. Moreover, the spell gave me magical powers. What about you? Tell me about your life. I'm unlucky, answered Johannes because I can't find the right bride for me. You shared your bread and cheese with me, so I want to help you. Come here to Gune with a girl and ask her to marry you. If she is the woman of your life, blueberry bushes laden with ripe berries will crop up all around you. Enthusiastic about the idea, Johannes thanked Alfred and he rushed down to Gressenay. The following months, Johannes went up to Gune with several girls from the village, but no blueberry bush cropped up around him. Towards the end of August, Johannes went up to Gune with Sibylle, a very poor, very sweet girl with beautiful black eyes. The young herdsman was surprised at the sight of the blueberry bushes cropping up wherever the girl laid her eyes. The spell had worked, Zibile was the woman of his life. Johannes and Zibile got married and Alfred's whole family attended the wedding. The newly married couple went to live in Gressenay and the mouse's family kept on living in the crack in the rock. But in August they all met up in Gune to have a picnic and pick blueberries. Ever since, in August... The villagers of Gressenay go to Gune to pick the blueberries that every year ripen in abundance in the fields and on the slopes. Comenus Reggio 2011-2013, porté par la région autonome de la Vallée d'Ost, Italie, et la mairie du Vigan, France. Projet des contes dans nos langues du bilinguisme au plurilinguisme.